Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to adjust your disc brakes on your pack wheel. So let's get into it. So for this video, I'm gonna be using this standard pack wheel. However, this will still be the same process on that electric one. And what we're gonna use for this is gonna be this tool right here that comes with this emergency repair kit. And we're going to be using the two millimeter and five millimeter hex key. So for a quick fix, we're going to go ahead and start right here at the end of the brake lever and loosen up that little lock thread. Now we have this barrel adjustment right here and we can back that out. And you have this little window right here that you can see those threads. So the more you back this out, the more tension is going to add to that cable. So let's go ahead and start right there. And as you can see, that's already shortened up that brake lever play. Let's go ahead and keep going a little bit. Just keep an eye on that window right there and make sure you're not going to pop that barrel all the way out. I recommend at least leaving three threads in there, so that's about where I'm at right now. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten that back up, lock that in place, and just like that, we've tightened up that tension. So for the majority of you, that part right there at the brake lever is probably going to be about all you need in order to tighten it up. If you're the guy that's kind of using this thing year round for everything you do, we might need to make a little more refined adjustment here at the caliper. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we are on the back side of this caliper right here. We have this little window right in here we're gonna be trying to use for reference. And with this caliper, you have a, a disc on both sides here, but the only one that's going to be moving is this right side disc. So as you apply that brake, it's gonna be moving the disc this way up against the rotor. This left side disc is going to be stationary. So what we're going to do is go ahead and loosen up this top and bottom bolt right here with that five mil. And now with this loose, you can kind of see how we have a little bit of left and right adjustment here. What we're going to be doing is trying to move this caliper as far left as we can, but without fully contacting that disc up against the right side of this rotor. So we've moved it over to the left. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of down pressure and spin this. And what I'm listening for is contact. If I'm hearing a lot of grinding, I'm gonna go ahead and move it back to the right a little bit, but right here, it's perfect. I don't hear any grinding. However, I've still moved that disc closer to the right side of this rotor. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hold this here and tighten it back up. All right, so now that I have this upper and lower bolt tightened again, I'm gonna go ahead and spin it one more time. If you hear a little bit of contact, that's okay. It's eventually gonna wear itself out over time. But what you don't want is this so far moved over to that when you spin it, it slows down and stops that wheel immediately. If it does that, you know you've moved it over too far. So go ahead and back it off a little bit, tighten it up again, and then give it one more spin. But I'm pretty happy with that right there. So let's go ahead and move over to this other side. All right, so now that we're on the other side of this caliper, we're gonna use our two mil and loosen up this little set screw that we have in here. So after we've loosened that up, we're gonna use our five mil again. And so the easiest way to do this is that I'm gonna tighten this all the way down until I have some contact with that rotor, turning it clockwise. All right, so now I have some pretty good contact with that rotor. What I'm gonna do from here is just give it a quarter turn counterclockwise to back that disc away from that rotor. All right, so now that I've taken about a quarter turn out of it, turning it counterclockwise, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little spin again. And now that sounds pretty good to me. So now what I've essentially done is when you're turning this clockwise, you're moving the disc closer into this rotor right here. And when you turn it counterclockwise, you're backing it away from the rotor. So what we did was we turned it clockwise, we made contact with that rotor, then we gave it about a quarter turn counterclockwise and we backed it off. So now we should have a pretty good evenly spaced gap between that rotor and those disc brakes. So now we can go ahead and take our two mil again and tighten up that set screw. And it can just be hand tight. It doesn't have to be, you know, super crazy, super tight. Just hand tight is fine. All right, and just like that, we have successfully adjusted that caliper. All right, so I don't know how well you can see that, but we have our disc on this side and our disc on this side, evenly spaced with that rotor right in the middle. 
So as we apply our brake, it only has a short amount of travel before it makes contact with that rotor and stops. So that is a properly adjusted disc brake. All right, so that's all I've got for this video. Again, just as a quick refresher, we started down here at that brake lever, backing out that barrel just to add tension to that cable. Again, if we needed a more refined adjustment, we moved up to the caliper itself. So what we did was when we loosened it up, we moved it over to the left to get it as close as we could to that rotor. We locked it down. Then we went to the other side and we moved that opposite disc brake in more to get that nice even spacing between the two discs on that rotor. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment or email us via info at packwheel.com. And that's all I've got for this one, guys. Thanks.